Hey guys, what's up? This is Shivari from eGadgets for you, and let's talk about the new latest gadget news that has been going around the corner. Of late, there has been a lot of things and a lot of happenings because of the recent event of Mobile World Congress coming soon. And so, let's dig deep into the latest buzz from the tech news that are available currently. The first and foremost thing in this segment is official confirmation from the South Korean joints of the two big companies, the LG and Samsung. Both the LG and Samsung are scheduled to launch their flagship models pretty soon in the year of 2017. LG with its G6 variant has confirmed that they will start rolling out the devices to the users from 10th of March 2017 onwards. The pre-booking for this particular handset will open from 2nd of March up to 9th of March 2017. Obviously, this handset will be unveiled for the first time to the global users in the Mobile World Congress coming Sunday in Barcelona. The next big news is from its rival company, the Samsung. The Samsung Galaxy S8 is scheduled to launch and is made a global launch for all the users globally from 21st of April. Now, this handset was previously rumored to be launched on 14th of March. Now, due to some technical glitch and also the availability in more numbers, for the Samsung Galaxy S8, they have postponed the scheduled date by one week. And also, they have made sure that this particular handset will be accessible and made available to all the users globally on one single date itself. Although, this particular handset of Samsung Galaxy S8 will be unveiled in a private event from Samsung on the 29th of March 2017. So, we are eagerly awaiting for the flagship models from both LG and Samsung. The next big news in this segment is the launch of the mid-range handset from LG, the LG XPAR 2. Prior to the Mobile World Congress, LG has already unveiled and made available of this particular handset as well. This handset at first will start rolling in Latin America and later on it will follow suit in the United States, Asian and the European countries and so on and so forth. The LG X Part 2 will support a 5.5 inch of screen. It will support a HD display with a resolution of 1280 into 720 pixels. It will be powered by a octa-core processor that is clocked at 1.5 gigahertz. It will have 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of internal memory and will support a micro SD card up to 2 TB. The most important USB of this particular device is the 4500 mAh of battery and the Android Nougat 7.0 straight out of the box. The LG X Part 2 will have a 13 megapixel shooter at the back with LED flash and a 5 megapixel shooter at the front with a low light LED flash to enhance your selfies as well. The price of this particular device is not yet confirmed. So we are eagerly waiting for the mid-range device from LG with the X Part 2. The next news in this segment is that the HTC 10 has started rolling out the Android Nougat update for the users in India as well. Officially, the Nougat update in HTC 10 was made available from November in United States and European countries. But due to some technical glitch, HTC has stopped its update and again lately it has again resumed its service of the Android Nougat 7.0 update as well. The official confirmation from HTC India is that this update will support a 1.21 GB of package and it will also have some of the latest Android security features, the system enhancement and the bug fixes with HTC 10. So do look forward for the HTC 10 users in India, the Android Nougat has started rolling in and make sure that you also update to the latest OS from Android. The next most exciting news in this segment is from the Crucial Tech, a fingerprint module maker company in South Korea. Now, Crucial Tech has confirmed that they have come up with a technology that will support the fingerprint sensors on the screen itself. So, it will be a big boost for all the devices and mostly for the major handset devices who are eager to make a perfect UI for you and a great user experience for you as well. So, with the inclusion of the fingerprint scanners on the physical screen instead of the home button, it will make sure of the fact that a uh, UI experience will be up to a great deal and also it will also enhance the experience of using your handset and unlocking it with your fingerprint scanners anywhere on the screen itself. So we look forward to this feature and also the handset that will support this particular feature as well. That'll be it guys, hope this video helps. And if it was helpful, please don't forget to do that while coming to my channel or subscribing to my channel. And before concluding the video, I want to make sure of one fact that the Mobile World Congress is coming very close now. And I will give you 
all the latest updates and also all the latest unveil that will be happening in Barcelona from Sunday onwards. So look forward to that also. That'll be it guys. Bye for now.